Okay, today I'm going to be showing you panoramic photos, how to stitch them together with several pictures that we're going to be taking from our drone. I'm going to be taking it from the Mavic Pro drone. Uh, this picture right here I took with the Samsung 360 cam out at one of my properties and uh, you can move it around as you can see like this total VR type 360 degrees right here you can go down you barely see my tripod and then on the Android if you press at the bottom here bottom corner you can switch it over to a mode to where now if you tilt and move your tablet or phone you can pan and look around manually like you're standing out there you can hold it up to the sky go down all the way around just like VR 360 and these pictures would be neat uh, to view in VR headgear as well so I'm going to show you how to do one in the sky with your drone. We're going to stitch the pictures together and we'll see how easy it can be to put something like this together. Stay tuned. Hey guys. It's a nice sunny day out here today. I figured it'd be a good time to show you uh, how to shoot panoramic photos, how to produce them after you capture the photos. Today I'm using the uh, DJI drone. Okay, uh, we've got the drone up. I don't know if you can see it up over there. And we're gonna go ahead. I'm using the Leechy app. You can use the DJI app too, I believe. Uh, but I press the top corner, left top corner, and I'm going to hit Pano. And it's going to open up your Pano settings. Should, oh, you got to press the gear down here. And we're going to try it now with uh, just four rows. And seven photos per row. Let's make it four rows. Six photos per row. It's going to snap 26 photos when we start this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to hit, hit the screen for a focus. The whole area around here. Check out the... Uh, background lighting and color looks pretty good it's hard to tell because I'm out here in the Sun but I'm at a distance of we'll take it about 130 feet up now I'm gonna go ahead and start the panoramic I don't know if you can see the uh, Mavic Pro is right up there almost straight above so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hit uh, start our 26 photos then the Maverick just starts shooting. You can hear the snapshots. It adjusts its gimbal automatically, tilts it up and down as needed, and after it takes the few pictures in that stationary position, it'll automatically turn and rotate. And then it'll take the next step. So it's pretty cool how it knows how to do this process. The Mavic Pro is really, really intelligent as you see here today and we'll have to process these photos after we capture all these onto our SD card from the Mavic so that process is pretty simple and uh, we'll take this inside and check out that SD card get to take the photos off and we'll, we'll show you how to process those Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm going to be narrating this part of the uh, video. So if you watch the screen here, uh, I'll populate this and get it going. We're using the PTI 
GUI app. It's not an app, I guess it's a software application for Windows. And right here we're going to load images from my PanoPix folder. And you see it's from the des desktop there, PanoPix folder is over there. And I'm loading all 26 images that we took from our drone, our DJI drone. <clears throat> As you see, they all loaded up very well there. And uh, the next uh, little thing down below there is the camera lim lens parameters. We're going to keep that as is. And then click number two checkbox there. And uh, it's going to analyze the images, try to stitch those together as best that the program can do. Now this one, I have to admit, I didn't have the lighting right settings on the, uh, the DJI uh, Mavic Pro set right. So there's a dark, uh, uh, you know, circular circumference around that sun that made that uh, background sky a little darker than the rest of the pictures. So bear with me. This is just going to show you how to do it. And then we go into step three. And you'll want to change this width to 12,000 pixels. And it'll automatically change the height to half of that. You need uh, width 12,000 and the height half of your width, which would be 6,000, in order to upload it to Facebook. If you're not uploading to Facebook, you're good. You can just leave it as is, and it'll be very high definition. And you can uh, view that in very high definition, that VR 360 photo we've just taken and stitched together. You can view that on the uh, uh, PTGUI uh, application and you have Chris, you can zoom in and see your neighbors from across the way and see how many chairs they have in their backyard and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, create panorama now. And uh, we've saved that into our PanoPix folder that's over here. And we're going to go ahead and click that and open that file up. I opened it in Adobe Photoshop. All right. We're back now. We're going to create another panel. We're going to name it Pano 360. And then we're going to create the width 12,000 and half of the pixels would be 6,000. Make it transparent background. Click OK and we've got a new folder or a new uh, window opened up. We're going to drag and drop that uh, Pano down into our transparent new window and then we'll have to align it up down at the bottom I want to scoot this frame out make sure I'm getting uh, those corners in there and I'm going to align it down at the very bottom because we don't want a band at the bottom of our 360 uh, we're going to have the band at the top and then uh, to overcome that we're going to uh, color that we're going to fill that in with some color here in just a minute <clears throat> and I think because the sky, most of the sky up is blue, we've got some clouds lower. We're going to go ahead and, uh, first off, I'm going to save this as a JPEG in case we mess it up. Okay, now uh, we're going to save it as maximum quality. We're already lowering it to 12,000 pixels, so we want to make that maximum quality. And that's allowable in Facebook. And then we've got that white space at the top now. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go over here and with our bucket tool, I want to make sure I'm going to first take the eyedropper and just pick a color up at the near top. Once you pick that color up there, uh, we're going to take the bucket and then we just dropped it in there. We just poured the bucket in the top to make that fill. And we're going to go ahead and save it now again uh, over top of what we just did. I like to save them as JPEG. Um, that's just my preference. And we just replaced the one that we had. and But it's totally filled now with blue. We're going to save it at the maximum quality. And there you have it. Now I wish the picture wasn't distorted with that sunlight uh, array there. Uh, that really darken that out but this is just for instruction purposes 
I'll leave some links uh, below of other uh, 360s that I take that are uh, absolutely fantastic. You wouldn't believe it. So hang on just a minute. We'll, we'll take a look at uh, how to upload it in Facebook and how to explore these pictures. Now to upload it to Facebook, you're going to have to go into details of your uh, of your uh, picture there. Rename the camera maker model. The camera maker is Rico. Camera model is Rico Theta S. You have to do that because Facebook recognizes that 360 camera. They don't recognize the Samsung Gear 360. I, I've already tried that. But they recognize that camera. I'll put that in the descri description below as well. And you'll go to your Facebook page and go to Upload Photos. And find your photo there. And we've got our 360 photocopy there. And it's going to be loading here. I'll fast forward this just a bit. And now it's almost loaded. And we see that uh, saying up there says, say something about this 360 photo. So I know it's recognizing it as a 360 photo. It just takes it a minute to, for Facebook to process that because it's not it's a regular 360 photo. photo. And that will populate. And if you see that world logo down at the bottom corner there, that means it is a virtual VR 360. We can name it here, 360 VR. Let our uh, potential uh, viewers know what this is so they find it interesting to go look at. And we'll go ahead and upload it. And uh, as you can see, you can move around in it, uh, drag it, drag it around. And there's also, I like to use the PT GUI uh, viewer app that you get when you purchase that uh, PT GUI uh, software. And you can really uh, zoom around really easy and good and zoom in uh, very far on the Facebook app. If you just use it within the window here, you can't really use the zoom feature. So I'll show you how to do that next. All right, we're going to go ahead and open up the PTI GUI viewer. We'll get this up here and we'll populate our picture. This is our new 360 VR picture. Let's get that in full screen and you can see as we can we can kind of drag it around this way uh, get out of that bad spot of course. Uh, Zoom down on me. There I am, down the screen right there. Uh, that was me navigating the drone up there. Oh, I just flipped up to the sky there. That's where we made it blue. And uh, we'll just go over here. As you can see, if you drag over here, uh, and this viewer is what I like, you can zoom in. I didn't know my neighbors across the street. It looks like they have some some cattle there or some horses or something out there. Wasn't really aware of that. There's there's two of them. There's a couple of them right there. So it's interesting what you can find out if you just take your drone up and uh, bring this back, stitch it all together, and come back with like an amazing picture like this. And remember, we downsized it to go to Facebook. So if you don't downsize it, you take that generic and go to this viewer this, B, uh, this PT uh, GUI viewer or any other 360 viewer without downsizing it and you get some amazing photos with the uh, you know the lighting set right in your drone you can come back here and you'll be able to zoom a mile away and get some detail out of that so I mean as I zoom over here I can go over to check out some of my neighbors houses across the way like uh, I zoomed down here and whoops flipped out on me all right 
All right, I, I want to go see what color cars they have over here in their driveway, just around the corner there. Look at that. There's a red and yellow car. I didn't know what color cars they drive. Now I do. You can see that road going down there. It's interesting software. It's interesting what you can do with a drone and it can automatically go up in the air and then produce something like this pretty much on its own. You're just putting it to the right software. Nobody got in, but when you're screaming for 